Dublin. When the Australians kicked off at Lansdowne Road, it was the hope of every Irishman in the great crowd that his country would humble the invaders as Scotland did in mid-December. Early on, Mike Gibson passed to Ray. A kick to the right, Alan Duggan had the ball, a try for Ireland. A few minutes later, Gibson was prominent again. The Irish pack won possession. The ball went to Gibson, a brilliant drop goal. The Irish were six points up and the luck stayed with the deserving. The Wallabies' infringement was penalised. Fullback Kiernan kicked the goal. Five minutes before half time, Australia's great standoff, Phil Hawthorne, had a chance at last. The result? One of his vintage drop goals. Ireland led 9 3 on the resumption and thoroughly deserved to. But that was a long way from a winning lead, and it was evident that the Wallabies were on the warpath. Once again, the genius of Mike Gibson barred their way. Hesitation in the Australian defence, and he was over for a try. Ireland 12, Australia 3, and then the Wallabies scored a try. Bryce was away, and no defender could stop him. With a superb kick, Jim Lenehan converted. Only four points behind now, Australia were really back in the game, putting all they had into the closing minutes, all to no purpose. Again, the Irish forwards got possession. A pass to Gibson, and another drop goal. Ireland won 15-8.